All right, so I've worked on another computer case design, custom design, and I'm going to show it to you now. Now, this I did a little differently. I actually had the parts CNC cut, and so you'll see the parts already here, and um, they're a combination of wood and plastic parts. So I've got some of these wood pieces here, kind of interesting parts here. So these are the plastic ones, and you can see they've got holes in them and stuff like that. So that's acrylic and uh, got this piece here kind of cool looking part so stay tuned you're gonna see how these go together and I think you'll find it pretty interesting okay so through the magic of YouTube um, you can see that I've got the parts all painted here and uh, they're all ready to assemble and also since I painted them I did a little test fit before I turned on the camera and I determined that I'm gonna need a little bit more pieces to make up uh, the thickness of all the, the stack that I'm going to end up building here. So I ended up making these uh, shims that are shaped just like these other pieces out of this thin laminate material. So those are going to come into play as well. So, and then this is the wire that's going to go into the assembly. I'm going to glue that in while I'm putting it all together. Um, so as far as glue, I decided that I'm going to use silicone. So this is what I'm going to use to assemble these. Okay, and before I assemble these plastic parts, I'm going to do a little sanding on them so I can take off that shiny finish on them. All right, now it's time to put this jigsaw puzzle together. So I'm going to start laying beads of glue on here. I don't need a whole lot of glue because I'm just trying to hold these parts together. I'm not really trying to build some kind of structure. So I'm using these dowels to keep these parts lined up. I think it's still too soon to put them in. Now we're going to go with this piece. I'm going to start putting these wires in here so that they don't get, uh, so, I, so I can put them in. Set this on top of here. Okay, next. All right, and this one goes on top of here. So I'll set that down there. And we need these holes to all line up, so I'm going to stick these drill bits in here. Make sure that those holes stay lined up. Okay. And then this guy goes over this. And we can clamp this. Uh, so this thing's had a chance to dry overnight, and I'm going to take the clamps off and see what we got. Okay. Looks pretty good. So you can see it's starting to take shape. Take these drill bits out. Don't need them anymore. I've got these threaded, threaded inserts. I'm going to put these in here. All right, so we got those inserts installed. You know what, I wanna put this piece on here. So I'm going to lay this on its back. I'm gonna try to just sand the outside edges of this. Put a bead of this stuff around here. Center as best I can. I don't think I need to clamp that. I think that'll be good like that. Now I'm going to glue these. I'm just going to glue these for now because I need to drill a hole through here. And if I glue that, it's going to get in the way. So I 
All right, so before I take these clamps off, I'm going to put a little hole in here for my power wire. And what I want to do is come in with the hole on the back side to be bigger than this side. So I'm going to use this right angle drill to come in and hopefully uh, make that hole and not go all the way through. So we'll see how we do here. All right, I don't know. That may not work. <laughs> all right, I'm going to just drill a hole from this side. Okay. I'm going to try attaching this piece too while this is all drying. So I'm going to carefully turn this around. Alright, let's see how this turned out. Take these clamps off. Do a test fit of this lid here. That is looking pretty cool. So I've got this unit here, you may recognize that. And what I'm going to do is borrow the internals from it so I can test fit them in here since I don't have another uh, set of internals to try out. So just open up this case. It's easier to put in than take out. <laughs> That's everything. And first we put the hard drive in. Well, I got it to fit. And now we just drop this baby in. I think I don't have enough room in here. This stuff's totally in the way. All right, so in order to make room for these wires that were interfering, uh, I made some holes in the case right here and I'm going to route the wires from the inside to the outside and route them back in and then in order to make room for that, those wires to, to stick out on the bottom of the case I made these little risers and I'm going to stick these on kind of raise the case up a little bit more and then there'll be some room inside of here for the wires. And now we should be able to route these wires and get everything installed. I'm going to run this wire through this hole, like so. Get that guy back inside the case. Now this is going to go on top. It's tight. Now we got it. And then I'm going to work this in, and this is going to come back through here. Okay. <laughs> Let everything fall into place, right? Oh, we need our panel. Got to have that. Okay. Got it. Now this plugs back in over here. Let's take a look on the bottom here. I think it may not be too pretty. Let's see. Yeah, not the prettiest setup. Anyway, let's continue here. All right, so I've got uh, everything plugged in. I had to get my motherboard manual out to figure out where to plug all those little wires into the motherboard. All right, and now we're going to test fit our cover here. So these are supposed to pop through here, and the LEDs are supposed to pop through here. Let's see how that goes. All right, nice. And then I've got these screws that go down in here. This goes in here. You know what it's time to do? It's time to tr plug this baby in and see if it works, right? <laughs> That's the whole point, isn't it? Okay, so we've got the machine as finished, hooked up to the 
uh, to a monitor, keyboard, mouse, or trackball, and we're all ready to fire it up. So let's do it. So the way this thing works, you got to use a little pen or something to push it. It's one of these two. There it is. Power up the monitor. Let's see what we get. Looks like it's working. Got my little LEDs working. All right, so she's working just like it did before in the old case. Works great in the new case too. Now, as I look at this thing, I was kind of hoping that the lights, the little bit of LEDs that are in there would light up these uh, plastic pieces and make it kind of light up internally. There's not nearly enough light in there to do that. So that's a bit of a disappointment, but Otherwise, I think it's a really awesome looking case. So here it is, the finished product. It's a computer case with a mini ITX uh, computer assembly inside of it. I built it as a Hackintosh. And, you know, the theme here is a uh, model of the new Apple Campus 2. So that was the inspiration for it. I think I came reasonably close to that. Let me know if you agree or not in the comments to this video. Uh, I love the kind of layers that I've got here and uh, you know the idea of trying to create windows uh, just like the real building. Uh, I think I would have liked to polish that plastic. I think it would be a little bit more interesting looking and cool looking. But anyway, I think it's still pretty cool. And I also think I might do something as far as putting LEDs inside of there so that maybe that light internally will radiate out. So that's an, a possibility for the future. I love the way this clear top lets you see inside the computer and provide ventilation as well. But I really like how you can see inside and see how much uh, electronics is just packed into that space and it just makes it look really like uh, technology packed and technology dense. I like that and I like how these LED little bosses I made, which had to be done with a CNC, no other way to do that. But I made bosses for the LEDs and the little openings for these switches and then for these two screws that hold down the cover and kind of makes it look uh, very uh, uh, polished, I guess you could say. But anyway, uh, I'm overall I'm real happy with it and I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.